SRS Crisofoli looking at their lagoon sludge removal equipment. Tell me how this thing works. Well, in general, it's a fairly simple concept. Uh, you've got a cutter head here, kind of like an underwater rototiller. Stir up the sludge under the water. Then we have mounted directly to it a centrifugal pump that'll allow you to pump the uh, solids away directly from the pond as you slurry them. So are you mixing with effluent from the lagoon as you're taking the sludge out? How do you liquefy it if it's like 10% solids at the bottom of the lagoon? The cutter head itself here will liquefy just that portion that you're pumping away. So okay. you don't have to stir up your entire pond at one time. You can uh, concentrate on your solids by adjusting the speed that you move across the pond and uh, the depth at which you put your cutter head. So you basically can take the sludge out without disturbing the liquid portion of the lagoon at all? We can take out uh, a good portion of it. You, you'll hardly notice anything on the surface of the lagoon, but underneath we'll be pumping out a couple hundred gallons per minute for you. How do you lower the cutter head into a lagoon and how deep can you go? We have a cable driven hoist winch that uh, lowers our cutter head down into the, uh, the material. This particular unit can go down to a depth of 12 feet, but we do custom make units that can go as deep as 30 feet. So how, how fast can you pump? What's the volume? How far can you pump with this pump? Well, this particular unit is designed for about 700 gallons per minute to about a quarter of a mile. You'd want to so if, if uh, someone was trying to apply their uh, lagoon sludge on a nearby field a quarter mile away, you could use this particular unit without a booster pump in any, or anything and apply about 700 gallon a minute for about a quarter of a mile. How about if you were going with uh, further away with a booster pump? What's your, the most you can pump? Well, uh, we do make larger units that are capable of pumping up to a mile away directly off of the unit. But uh, we do know of uh, projects where people have pumped as far as two to three miles away using a series of booster pumps to, to carry the sludge. A thousand gallons a minute, is are that, that too much for this one or is that about right? Well, this one at its maximum production can produce about 1,100 gallons per minute uh, if you're pumping directly to a booster pump on shore. Okay, good. So this is electric. That's another thing that's a little different. It's, it's powered by electricity, not by diesel. What's the advantage of doing that? The major advantage of it is that it's more efficient. If you can pull power directly off of the grid, you're looking at the most efficient way to get power. Diesel is very expensive these days, and so a big diesel engine is gonna cost you a lot of money. It's also very quiet compared to most lagoon-type pumping units, isn't it? I know a lot of people, they're very concerned when you're removing the sludge from a, uh, from a lagoon or a pond that you're gonna disturb the liner. How do you protect this from tearing up a a plastic liner or even a clay liner? We have a two-part system. For, uh, generally for just a clay liner, this cage will ride across the, uh, the clay liner. It's generally sufficient for your, uh, for your general clay liner and even for most plastic liners. But if you're really concerned about it, the other system we have in place, we have a set of wheels right here. And these attach directly to the cutter head and will ride across the surface of that liner. In 25 years of operation, we've uh, managed to save I'd say hundreds of liners uh, from being punctured. Being torn up. And this is all remotely controlled with this little unit here. It uh, is, nobody has to get on the, uh, the unit at all, right? It is remotely controlled, uh, especially for people in uh, manure applications. I know uh, I'd rather not be out on top of a manure pond if I can avoid it. Yeah, like most folks. <laughs> <laughs> so how does it crawl across the lagoon? Is it self-propelled? Do you have to pull it with a cable or how does that work? We uh, use what's called a cable traverse system. We have our traversing winch on board and it pulls it along a cable. Uh, we found that's very useful because it keeps you in a very organized grid-like manner. You know which areas you've covered and which areas you're moving to. And you don't have as much, uh, well, just, just sway. Right. So if, you, uh, if you're concerned you might miss an area, you know exactly in the grid you've moved. So how fast does this thing move as it's collecting sludge? Well, it moves pretty slow. Uh, it's 15 feet per minute, okay. and uh, it cuts an eight foot wide path, a foot deep. Say I had a uh, one and a half acre lagoon, and it, I've got five foot of sludge at the bottom of it. About how long would it take for this uh, unit to uh, remove that amount of sludge? You're looking at actually between about two and three weeks to remove all that sludge. But again, I emphasize that uh, what you're doing when you're removing that is you are actually removing it from the pond. Right. The sludge is gone entirely. You can agitate it much quicker, but, uh, but to actually get it moved out. Right. 
and you're not you wouldn't be disturbing the upper layer and you can go straight from this take the sludge off go as far as five or ten miles inject it into the ground and no one would ever know that you disturbed your lagoon probably that is possible well it's been good talking to you jordan this is a very interesting piece of equipment appreciate your time <laughs>